So I recently did a video where I talked about uh, my networking uh, theories, basically the tactics that I follow every time I have to go to a networking event so I can make sure that I meet people and talk to them, et cetera, et cetera. I think they're the, literally the last videos that have been posted up. And, um, and anyway, thanks to one of the comments, I realized that I posted what my tactics are, but I didn't talk about how I pick and choose where to go and how to find these networking events and how to find the right events to attend, um, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason for this is because I act, I've actually already discussed this, but not on these YouTube videos. I discussed it in one of my courses. Um, I discussed it in my course, uh, Sales and Marketing for Freelancers. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, show you an excerpt from this course, the excerpt where I talk about how to pick and choose where to uh, go to these events and how to pick them and what the difference is in terms of uh, price, in terms of quality, in terms of the type of people you meet uh, for all these types of events. And yeah, and I'll have a link to the course in the description below as well in case you're interested in the whole course. And um, But yeah, otherwise I'll just uh, roll the video. Now at this point I should mention not to forget the real world. Everything we covered so far has been online, but obviously there's a whole world out there right outside your doorstep and you should not neglect this. If for no other reason, it's just that a lot of people who work online, online freelancers, they do neglect this real world. And so it'll give you a leg up. And so you should always keep in mind that real stuff is happening. Now, having said that, the best way to find out about it many times is online. The first place I would say to check out is meetup.com. If you go to meetup.com, chances are there's some meetups happening, at, happening right now in your area. And chances are there's even something in your specialty or in your industry. So search for meetup.com and see what's going on in your area. Try to join some of the ones that deal with freelancing, that deal with freelancing and your specialty. So web developing, photography, design, whatever it might be. And also, once again, with your specialization, you know, finance, legal, this, that, and the other. Meetup.com, you can search. And meetup.com, by the way, you can also use it to look for other stuff that might be of interest. Maybe you're learning a new language on the side, or you like hiking, or you like travel. They have meetups for pretty much anything you could desire. So see what's going out there. It's a great way to get out there and meet people. And you can use that as an occasion to market your wares, market your services, and let people know what you do. Another point is internations.org. Now, if you are in a place like Europe, or probably just outside the US, internations.org seems to be pretty big. It doesn't seem as big in the US, but one advantage of that is that the people who join it and who are members of it in the US tend to be very international. So if you have any activity or any business that is international or could be international, then you can find this other group of people, this other crowd of people in internations, internations.org. So check it out as well and see what events are going on in your area. It works similar to meetup.com in that it shows events under internations that are going on in your city or your area. Another place to check is co-working spaces. Co-working spaces, in case you're not familiar, co-working spaces are spaces where you can basically rent out an office, you can rent out a desk, you can rent out a space to work. A lot of startups use them, a lot of freelancers use them, a lot of entrepreneurs use them. So it's a great place to meet other freelancers and entrepreneurs, people in your same shoes. So look for co-working spaces. Most of these will have events. They're gonna have talks that you can attend. They're gonna have luncheons, they're gonna have drinks, they're just gonna have things where they open up their space to potential customers such as yourself, but also just to the co-working, to the entrepreneurial world in general. So look up co-working spaces in your area and try to get involved with what's going on because that's a great place to meet other people. If all else fails or in addition to whatever you're doing, you can also just search for freelancers plus the city that you're in. So if you are a freelancer in Brussels, then search for freelancers plus Brussels. Obviously, you want to search in the language uh, that you're in as well. So if you're in a place like if you're in Zurich, then search for freelancers plus Zurich, but also search for it in German as well. And so then you can get some local people there and you can find out what's going on with the local freelancers in your area. By the way, if you are in a place like Zurich, I would write it in German, but I would also write it in English regardless, no matter where you are you'll find that any international community will probably just set up something called freelancers. And so if there is an international community where you are, then try typing it in English 
And for because for a lot of things like this, and especially working online, many times the English terms such as freelancer just become the lingua franca. Another place to check is chambers of commerce. Chambers of commerce generally exist in every city and many times they're neglected because you feel that only big businesses will go to chambers of commerce, but this isn't true at all. A lot of chambers of commerce have events, even if you don't want to pay for membership, you can usually attend events such as luncheons or speeches, etc., that are either free or that don't cost much at all. And this is a great way to meet a different group of people. So if all these other places you've been meeting freelancers and entrepreneurs like yourself, chambers of commerce, you can meet potential clients or at least just a different crowd of people that might be interesting to get in touch with and to talk to. So remember to check out your local chambers of commerce and not to neglect them. Another thing is to find out where the people in your industry hang out. Once again, if you're a freelancer, if you are a designer, if you're an entrepreneur, then they're going to hang out most likely in co-working spaces or in certain types of meetups, etc, etc. But it might be somewhere else as well. So try to get a feel for where they hang out. Along those lines, try to find out where your clients hang out as well. And this means your specializations. So once again, if you design brochures or something for real estate companies, then try to find out where these realtors hang out, where their spots are, where their meetups are, where their meetings take place and where you're most likely to find them. Because once again, this is a great way to hang out with potential clients and for them to get to know you. So what if you've gone through all of these and you still can't find people to meet up with. I mean, it's very unlikely, but if you can't find any meetups or any internations groups or any co-working spaces or anything else that it has potential clients that you can attend that suits your needs, well, then you can set one up yourself. In fact, the easiest way to do so is to go to meetup.com and set up your own meetup. They make it very easy there. Internations to set it up, I think you have to pay. You have to be an, what's called an Albatross member or something along those lines. But for meetup.com, you can set up your own meetup for free. And I know because this is what I did. When I first moved to Taiwan, there wasn't a meetup for uh, local entrepreneurs where I was. And so I got together with another guy who was also interested in setting them up and we just set it up ourselves. And we ended up getting 3,000 members in the end. So chances are someone else is in your shoes. If you can't find any organization that suits your needs, that's something that you want to attend, I'll bet there are other people in your area in your same shoes. And so why not set up a meetup.com and or set up a meetup on meetup.com and then you guys can meet up. And what I did with my friend when we set these, this up back in Taiwan, we figured, hey, worst case scenario, there'll be two of us drinking beers. After a while, we ended up getting more and more members and it ended up, ended up being pretty, pretty interesting, I'll say. So if you can't find what you need, then be entrepreneurial about it and set one up yourself.